standing here in the Grotner booth with Manny Garmy. Manny, you guys have kind of focused on transmitters for many, many years. You guys got something new you're looking at this year? Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? Well, last year we introduced our uh, radios, and also this year we were coming out with new radios. But this year, we actually took it a step further and came out with a race copter. Okay. And our primary objective for the race copter was that we could give an out-of-the-box user experience that you could just take the, the copter and start flying right away without any kind of complications of settings and, 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 and wiring systems that are for most users really too difficult to actually really understand. Okay. So when you say race copter, we're talking about a quadcopter here? That's correct. It's a quadcopter okay. and the uniqueness really of the quad Copter is is that it has a fully integrated controller sitting inside the receiver. So what the user really needs to do is just plug in his the controller, which is also the receiver, just put in the ECs, and that's pretty much it. And it comes out of the box, and you can go fly right away with it. Really? And so you guys got carbon fiber that looks actually aluminum that looks like carbon fiber, correct? Right, yeah. So you got lots of durability. They're, they're very strong. So, so basically we have two setups really. A, uh, almost ready to fly. Mm -hmm. It comes with the full frame already built, the motors, the ECs, everything pre-configured for you with the controller built in there. The only thing you need to have is a Gartner radio. You just link it to it and you're done and you can go flying. Or okay. it's a ready to fly uh, version which comes with the radio. It's a six channel radio and out of the box you just plug in the battery and you just go start flying. Okay. Um, when you want to crank it up a notch, let's say you want to be actually uh, create some settings that are more competitive mm -hmm. in terms of what the copter can do, you can use the transmitter and actually do all the settings inside the controller. So you don't need a computer, you don't need any kind of configuration boxes, really nothing. So you're telling me that all of the configurations, all the setup for the entire quad, you can do right from the transmitter? Correct. Correct. That's amazing. That is amazing because, again, this is where the, most of the users, that's where they stumble because they don't know how to wire everything sure. and, 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 and it's too complicated. Mm -hmm. Another benefit we give here also, and that's real, again, we like to look at safety also, it has a built-in altimeter, so it actually will warn you how high you are if you don't want, if you are in a confined area, so it will give you warnings, but it also will monitor your battery and okay. in real time will tell you that your battery is about to just be depleted and uh, give you the, the proper warning. By the way, this radio also has voice. Okay. So there is a full voice telemetry actually being configured, uh, uh, broadcasted back to you, uh, including signal strength. So if you go too far out, it will tell you too far out, you can bring it back. And okay. Out that. So a lot of safety built in, but also easy to use and out of the box, you can just go and fly. Cool. Yeah, okay. So I also see you got a bright blue charger out here. Correct. The Polar Online, they've been around for a while now. Yes. Yeah. What Extremely, can you tell me uh, about? Yeah. Well, I mean, we, we were surprised at how the uptake was in the OES market for the Polar on Charger. People just love them. Um, I think the first thing that everyone looks at is the form factor. It's a charger that just, you know what I mean, and it's a, it applies for the whole Polar Online. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a desktop model, very slim, you know what I mean? It, it kind of, it's almost a decoration on your desk. Sure, doesn't take um, up a lot, of, does, a lot of bench space. Not at all. Um, we had a lot of requests for a more powerful charger, so we came out with the Polaron EX 1400. So it's a 1400 watt channel uh, 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 charger, uh, 700 watts on each channel, and goes up to eight cell. So basically, we also cranked up the uh, cell count here. Okay. And again, it has the same features as the other Polaron, easy to use, mm -hmm. touch screen. So it's just a iconized, uh, just like an iconized uh, desktop. Mm -hmm. uh, if you know how to use your smartphone, you know how to use a Polaron charger. Cool. Um, very easy to use. It will come together, um, and that's as a separate product, also a power supply. Mm -hmm. That's a 1700 watt power supply uh, that will come out in about August. These will be available in June uh, okay. here in the US. And what is what is the pricing on the, the new EX400? The, the EX400 will be uh, ranging between uh, 369 and 399. We haven't really, but, but most likely it will be about 369. Okay. That's what right. the, uh, the price point will be. Very cool. Are you good to go? Well, Manny, I appreciate your time. Everybody loves a sure. good value in the hobby these days, and it seems like you're getting a good value with these transmitters. I believe so. Thank All you right. so much. Thank okay. you. Okay, guys.